Can you say something? No. Hey, how's it going? So today we are carrying on recording Roto Pops Volume 2 uh, at, at uh, Heimbach's place. And it's going quite well. I'm quite pleased with it. Oh! Yesterday we had a conversation about an idea that we could try for this next song that we're going to be recording. Uh, there is this machine that, that gets this really short delay time by basically pumping sound via a speaker into a hose pipe and then into a microphone. Heimbach, fill us in with what that machine actually is. The original is called the Cooper Time Cube and it was made around the early 70s. Only about 1,000 units and they're legendary for providing like a really tight delay because <laughs> it's only just 30 milliseconds. But apparently, I've never heard one in person, this creates great doubling effects. So I don't know how long the pipe, oh, how long the hose is we're gonna go for so we can go longer delay times maybe. Well, yeah, we're only gonna make a simple idea with this. So since the, if you look at the pictures with the, the time cube, it's quite a short pipe. So we're just gonna get a normal hose and that will dictate how long our delay times are going to be. Uh, so where are we popping to? Oh, Obi. We're going to Obi. Obi. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that, that's the shop over there, isn't it? Yeah, over there. Time to make a time cube. <laughs> this is massive. It's bigger than B&Q in the UK, that's for sure. There's something fishy about this idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right, here we go, this is it, this is the one. Hello. Oh my god. I don't know how to make this obvious, but... There's a delay. Like, put it to your ear and give it a go. Oh! It's... It, there's a delay. Yeah, you can hear it when you do tut tut tut. So... Yeah, that will work. And it's already, like, perfectly formed. 50 meters. How much more? I mean, it's more, but it's quieter, much quieter. But there's a there's there's nearly double delay with 50 meters. So with 50, you divide 330 by 50. That's we get like 70. But let me tell you, that's like four bucks per meter. Yeah, we're not. We're going to go for 30 because that's what the original time cube was when it was double. Yeah. Isn't it? So, so one does 15 at the red and one does 16. So it's like two pipes apparently. Let's try 30. Yeah. Let's do it. Now we need to get, oh yeah, we need to get a funnel, don't we? Fliesenlegen. Stefan. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Blue. Yeah, uh, blue, that right? One, that second from the end. Yeah, I think so. It will. I hope. So that will work. I'm putting this little contraption, which is a tiny speaker from the field kit, and I'm plugging this into the effect sent on this mixer. Yeah. Works. Okay. So this is very quiet, but if you go close, it's actually pretty loud. And they used SM57 capsules in the original, one to send and one to receive. So this is even overkill. Oh, that has a ton more bass now. Oh. Oh yes, awesome. Okay, cool, cool. We'll get some hot glue on that. Right. You'll be transferring all the sound pressure through yeah. a tiny funnel. Funnel? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna let this dry. Oh, hot glue. Uh, we're gonna let this. We're, uh, we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna plug this into the speaker, and then we're gonna poke it into the lapel, and then see what it sounds like. Oh. I can already hear it. I can hear it from here. It does do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. So we have the Valter mic right here. Uh, what, what is it, Heimbach? Oh, it's a prototype of a microphone my friend Valter made. It's basically designed to pick up tiny, tiny sounds. It's not a great vocal mic, but it's fantastic for you on like no noise and yeah. tiny things amplified. Well, it just so happens that it butts right up against the hose pipe, so we're going to get a bit of gaffer tape. This one's going to work way better. I'm going to plop it again. Butt it up against it. Ooh, listen to that. We've got ASMR channel now. Um, hello. 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 This is 
serious, serious delay. delay. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of filtering, filtering going on, but the, the delay, delay is quite considerable. The delay is quite considerable. This, I've uh, padded it with some tissue and some gaffer tape, so you can't hear it from the back. Right, let's, let's give it a go. So that's, how much is that? That is, from the start of this to this, it's 80, it's 90 milliseconds. Nine zero. Eight nine. 89 milliseconds yeah. of delay. Yes. From a hose pipe. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, the things they did in the past. <laughs> Unfortunately, from this point forwards, we actually lost the footage and the machine is over with Heimbach still. Uh, so Heimbach's just done a video for me, uh, just showing us what we got up to. Uh, basically, we put it in a case to sound isolate it from everything and we put it at a far corner of the room so we could use it without effect from all of the other things in the room. And here's the clavulina box we used. And it fits in perfectly. <laughs> Almost perfectly. Yes. And then, plonk. And our special take on isolation. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this roll. So this would insulate the point where this goes in. And we plugged the cable in there, closed it all up. And then hit it in the farthest corner of the cellar. Heimbach was also kind enough to make this video displaying the effects that we used it on. We mainly used it on the vocals. So this is it in the mixed version of Pipe Dreams, which is one of the songs that is also on this EP, which has been out for a while. But there is now a vinyl campaign that has got both of the EPs, the Rotopops EP and the Pipe Dreams EP, sandwiched back and forwards on the vinyl. There's a link below uh, that if you're interested in grabbing one of the vinyls, because I know a lot of people were commenting about it in the last video. Anyway, take it away, Stefan. Sam is gone, but he left the Pipe Dreams box here with me. And I used it to mix Pipe Dreams, the song. I really wanted to see how this sounds on vocals, as this is where the original pipe was used often. So here's my vocal dry. Innensicht und Außenblick zwischen den Geschichten. Innensicht und Außenblick zwischen den Geschichten. And here through the Pipe Dreams box. Innensicht und Außenblick zwischen den Geschichten. Very nice and muffled. But now let's put them together. Innensicht und Außenblick zwischen den Geschichten. Interior, exterior, finding definition. That's a really nice slapback. And on Sam's vocals, this sounds like this. Pipe dreams, pipe dreams, pipe dreams. Pipe dreams, pipe dreams, oh. Putting in the box. Pipe dreams, pipe dreams, pipe dreams, 
It really works nicely to make vocals sit, especially if you add a bit of effects later on. This was of course the inspiration for Pipe Dreams, the song, and also the name of the EP, the pipe that we bought uh, on the third day of doing this EP together. It was quite a fun idea, and I recommend if you are into funky kind of effects and building things, to try and make one yourself. It's not extremely electronically complicated, it's more like a Blue Peter project, because all you need is a big old hose, a speaker, a microphone, and some gaffer tape, and you're well away. I think you could go further with it, much like the original box, which had two different hoses in it, and they were both at uh, different lengths, and they were doubled together at the same time as well, so there was variable times down to the lengths. It's a way of sort of compressing space into a box, because um, Heimbach mentioned uh, his theory was that these were for um, just making it more economical to having a large place to set up a microphone and a speaker at a long distance to get uh, the speed of sound, a certain slapback in an analog mixing situation. Well, this is like basically a long corridor, but in a box. But anyway, as I mentioned, there is a vinyl available now of both of these. They're also available on streaming services as they have been for a couple of months now. Heimbach has also done another video today on a, another song that we did on that EP and how we made it. So go and check it out over there. It's very interesting. We use this very big box that is basically an RC filter simulation setup for crossover speakers. Oh, a lot of big words, but go and check it out over there. And yeah, I'm Look Mum No Computer. This is the Pipe Dreams EP and Pipe Machine. And yeah, don't be scared to try it, especially. Do try this. If you're into DIY music things, then definitely give it a go. Anyway, see the book.